People are always underestimating plants, especially trees. You know, they see them as these static things on the landscape that pump out some oxygen for breathing. But trees have their own interesting and exciting lives. It just takes place on a different time scale. To a tree, a forest is a highly competitive and overcrowded place, especially in a rainforest where trees grow so close together they form a thick canopy that blocks most of the light from penetrating to the forest floor, where most of the seedlings start out. Shaded and stuck in the dark, only a few will grow into giants, relying on old trees falling over and forming light gaps, where a young tree has to fight for its spot in the rainforest skyline. All this hard competition can drive a tree to resort to violence to try and steal a spot in the canopy. And for a few plants in the genus Ficus, this is exactly what happens. Ficus are a genus in the family Moraceae that are most well known for their really strange inflorescence called the Siconium, which looks like a single fruit, but on the inside is filled with hundreds of tiny flowers. These flowers are out of reach of pretty much everything but their pollinator, tiny wasps in the family Agonidae, which can fit through a small pore on the bottom of the siconium called the ostiole. Inside, the wasps lay their eggs and pollinate the flowers. These wasps are very short-lived, generally being gone in a day, and need to get pollen from male flowers in a mature siconium to the female flowers in a young siconium of a different tree. So ficus have staggered fruiting cycles, which means wet season or dry season, a ficus somewhere is bearing fruit. The siconium maturing into a fig once the wasps take off with the pollen from within. This makes them a critical resource for animals in the rainforest, a reliable food source that can get frugivores through the dry season when other plants are not producing. For trees like ficus aria, they use the mobility of canopy animals to give them a way to avoid competing for a spot in the canopy. When a fig is eaten by a bird like a toucan, the bird travels through the canopy, eventually perching and pooping out the indigestible seeds high on a canopy branch of a host tree. Here, already in the sunlight of the canopy, the tiny tree germinates. The tiny fig is unique as it can live as an epiphyte, a plant that can grow without soil growing on a different plant, getting everything it needs from air and rain. But the tiny fig seedling has bigger plants than other epiphytes like canopy bromeliads or orchids, and is not content with this impoverished life. It begins to snake thread-like roots down the tree, until they reach the soil far below. Unlike some other epiphytes that spend their whole life suspended in the trees without soil, figs like this are hemiepiphytes only spending part of their life as epiphytes. Now, having access to more nutrients in the soil, the fig begins to expand. The roots, once thread-like, become thicker. Like an anaconda, these roots begin to squeeze the host tree, cutting off its access to water and nutrients, slowly girdling and killing it. The dead host then rots away, leaving an empty hollow in the center of the fig. These special ficus, called strangler figs, steal a spot in the canopy through extreme tree-on-tree -tree violence. Sometimes, a bird will deposit the seeds of a strangler fig on the branch of another, and what results is the two trees intertwining and wrestling with each other, leaving trees with rather odd appearances, often with multiple trunks. These trees go to show you that far from being stationary, gentle organisms, trees can be dastardly, aggressive, and just downright violent in their quest to pass on their genes. Thank you for watching this episode. I am trying my best to implement some more videos specifically looking at plants. On this channel, my goal is to create quality short documentaries that educate viewers on the natural world with the hope that they inspire outdoor exploration and conservation action. If you enjoyed this video, please consider clicking the subscribe button and taking a look at some of my other videos. I would really appreciate it. Bye.